Hello there. Um, I'm going to talk about a picture again. Um, this one is going to be the interior of a Thargoid cave. Um, it's a surface structure on a planet. I'm drawing it out in a kind of a, a lime green chalk pencil first to sort of plan out the basic shapes so that I know what I'm doing where. I always get a bit hung up about doing detailed Thargoid structures mostly because they're so complex and they've obviously had such a lot of work done on them to make them look as as amazing as they do that I always feel like anything I'm going to do is just never going to look good so I thought well look I can neither fret about that or I can just have a bit of fun and I decided that you know I wasn't going to spend long I wasn't going to try planning it particularly accurately so all of the lines are in different places to the original screenshot but I had a bit of fun sort of doing the shapes and the colours and the trying to suggest that sinister, threatening environment. I'd love to be on foot in there. I think that's probably one of the most things that I'd like to do when this new update comes through, as I'm assuming that you'll be on your feet. It wasn't what I'd have specifically gone for. I was always more interested in being in my spaceship. But certainly being in this cavern, being un uh, surrounded by the, one imagines, kind of wet, sticky caustic-y, slimy environment be a really amazing and the sound as well of those caves the really good sound so I was using the chalk pencil still to draw it all out make make it clear to myself what's going to go where and that's my plan so that I know what I'm doing um, I've only been in a Thargo cave about twice I think first time I went in I um I think I blew up in the end in my SRV, which is one of those things that can happen. They have these um, little scutters, these uh, scavengers that uh, go around spraying everything with caustic slime or whatever. I don't know whether they, they're feeding the eggs on. There's eggs everywhere inside this caverns. So I don't know whether the, the Thargoid skimmer things, the, the, the scavenger beasts, they... Um, don't know whether they may be, may be feeding the eggs or pouring moisturising green goo onto them to make it extra sticky and repellent. I don't know. But yeah, they if they get that green goo on you, it, it causes quite a lot of damage to your um, vehicle, especially if you, if you ha happen to accidentally roll over one of the eggs in your SRV, which is, I wouldn't have thought, a particularly good idea because you get the caustic slime on your wheels and things start ticking down and eventually you're just going to blow up and I, I just I think I probably was just a bit slow on the uptake when that happened and I didn't really take any notice I didn't get shot by anything if you're taking guardian stuff all those Thargoids they're not fond of the guardians if you take any guardian stuff in there they will really go for you they don't like you at all if you're taking that stuff and it changes the whole atmosphere of the place from a pleasant green to a really quite angry red and it, oh, that's an impressive thing to do. That really does look good. But uh, this particular picture is a, a close-up of the central structure in the central cavern. And the um, the cavern can be activated by using three different Thargoid items. There's the link, uh, there's the probe, and I can't remember what the other one is. Oh, I can't, the sensor. That's it. So, and you put all of them into the correct pods in this central kind of dace, this pedestal area, which has got weird, nasty sort of UV pod thing above it. It's just everything horrific and alien that you can imagine there. It's just the, the, the tubey, limey horribleness of it all just there. And then you, you, you position your Thargoid items there and it all lights up. And it's so beautiful and it's lovely. <laughs> so I tried to show it I actually did that particular part of it really badly it just doesn't do it justice at all uh, but never mind it's okay I think it's 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 sufficient for it to, um, to to capture a little bit of what I was trying to do and I'm trying not to get hung up on about making it accurate this one because I, I, I try and do it every time and it it doesn't need to be accurate when it comes down to it this time because Eat, look at a different angle, look at a different bit of it. Just just, uh, just try not to worry about it too much. Because anyway, I can't do them. They're just too hard. This is the bits that um, are on the sides, that these sort of 
They almost look like lanterns. Certainly they glow from within. They look like lanterns to me. They're part of the part of the mechanism, part of the machinery, if you were. They kind of the organic machinery, the sort of carapace of uh, the living beast thing, whatever this is. I like that kind of the idea that it's partly alive and it's partly it's partly constructed. That, that's really clever, I think, what they've done with the whole idea of the, you know, the Thargoids and their life cycle or whatever. It's an interesting kind of thing to imagine how I, I think this is clearly some sort of orrery or map or planning room but it could be anything couldn't it, it I, I, we really don't know because we've not been told you, you can only really use your eyes to try and work it out the canon people like that they've done lots of research and they know all about this stuff and they're the, they're the guys that have um, activated the, the central chamber and, and um, been able to access some uh, specific unknown signals in there with the spectrograms. Uh, I find that fascinating, the use of the spectrograms and the fact that that's coded into the game. It's such a such a smashing idea. I think it's really clever. <laughs> it's lovely. It's that these these little. I wish there was there was tons of that stuff. I wish that they sent you on merry journeys all over the place. But I guess it's quite labour intensive producing this stuff. So, but yeah. Surface sites look great though, they do, they really look amazing from above as well, when you descend in towards them with your spaceship, this the spiral, and it just looks like, kind of, like it's a carving or something of a Thargoid that's, that's just resting on the ground, and you can go inside, almost like it is an actual sort of landing craft or spaceship, but it, the chambers inside are part of the internal structure of the spaceship, I mean we don't know. They look like they are, they look like they're going to take off, don't they? It'd be great if you were inside, wouldn't it? Why is the ground shaking? And why? We're in space. <laughs> in my SRV, my ship's back down. Recall, recall. Oh, no. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. I love that whole kind of witch space quality to it as well. The fact that the Thargoids could, in the old game, they could just dump you. And you might not have enough fuel to get back. And that's game over. And, yeah, that's just fantastic. I love all that stuff. Oh, look, I'm starting to put the stars in. That's good news. Uh, I didn't do it very well, but it doesn't really matter. I always say that, like, oh, it doesn't really matter. Look, and mostly I seem to be just focusing on the back of my hand, um, which is a bit of a shame. It doesn't matter, again. <laughs> like, 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 I don't want to look incompetent, but yeah, obviously don't care enough to actually try and look competent never mind but yes I, I, finishing it off is always the bit i do with the stars because you can't get your dirty great hands on the stars if you do it right at the end and i would knowing me oh there's quite a lot of stars in this oh it's because it's the um galaxy isn't it anyway i'm gonna go back i think i'm gonna go back to one of these places again and see them because i, I don't have as many photographs as i'd like anyway that's it yes. <laughs> oh dear never mind <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for watching. I, uh, I'll probably do another one in the next few days, uh, which will be, I'm sure, hugely exacting in exactly the same manner. <laughs>